Hi everyone, today I thought I would share with you some of the books that I use to create my junk journals and these are books that you could access as well or just the type of book that I look for when I go op shopping. So I'm going to start with this one which is very plain on the cover but this is actually a wildflower book. So if you look through it, each page on the right hand side has got all these beautiful flowers on it. And it's just, it's also got some indexes, but the bulk of the book is florals. And it's also a super thick book that you can see. And it is called Wildflowers of the World. So that would be one that you could get. I know that I have bought a couple of these and I've used one completely. And now I've bought a second one to use. So that's one of them. The other thing that I like to use are dictionaries. Now, when I'm shopping for dictionaries, I just don't buy any dictionary because I think all dictionaries are not created equal. This one I like because, not only the beautiful end papers that I'll be using, but it's got four columns in it. It's a beautiful colour paper. I'm probably not picking that up on screen, but if I put something, let me just grab this manila piece of manila. That's manila folder. And so you can see that that's quite a difference between the colour of that and the colour of this and it's just got really nice font I'm a real font person in case you haven't picked up on that already I love font so that's really important to me as to what sort of font is in the book if I'm going to be using just the pages with the words on them now the next type of book to look for would be a foreign language book which I guess if you're living overseas away from Australia in a country that speak these languages then it's not a foreign language to you but I really like that you can get books that are in a foreign language now this one is in Italian and I actually picked this up in Italy but I'm sure you could find similar here and it's got some little pictures in it as well it's a little kids book actually and then this here I've actually purchased this here in Australia I think it was only, you know, about $4 from memory. And it's a German book, so it's a bit smaller, but I still really like the font and the pages, which are very aged in this one. So it is an old book. I'm not sure if it says when. 1919. So I don't even know what it's about, so please forgive me if it's about something it shouldn't be about because I don't speak German. So that's a nice one, and the cover's really nice. So I'll probably use the cover as is in a little journal. The other thing I look for is books or little magazines like this one that have got some diagrams and things in them. So this is Hobbies Weekly and I have, I think I purchased about five or six of these at the time and obviously it came out every week and I bought this here in Australia in Brisbane and in it are all these things of different hobbies and what you can make. So it's full of these lovely diagrams. And the other thing that it's got in here is it's got these really nice adverts and they are all through the book, the little magazine. So they're really nice to cut out and use in your junk journals as well. So that's one thing. And then there are lots of different sorts of books that have diagrams in them. So kind of look for things with diagrams in them. Like this one here, which is the Technical Correspondence School in Brisbane. And it's on Oxy and Arc Welding, which doesn't sound very interesting. Oh, I suppose if you like that sort of thing, it is. But I picked it up because of the age of it for a start and all the water staining, which most people would probably just walk past. But as a junk journaler, you probably know as well as I do that we love this sort of thing. And when I opened it, I was like, oh, it's lovely. It's actually been typed, I would think, on a, a, you know, a standard typewriter of the time and then probably photocopied or I'm not sure printed but anyway this is all hand typed it's not done by machine you can tell because some of the things don't line up properly and it's just lovely it's also got some handwritten notes in it which is really nice it's big so it's probably a fool's cap size which is if you're elsewhere and you don't know what that is it's bigger than a um, an American letter size and much bigger than an A4. So it's nice and big so you can turn it on its side and use the papers. And again, I love this old typewriter font. And 
plus a bonus, it has diagrams. So lovely diagrams of welding stuff, but they're really interesting little diagrams through it. So that's the sort of thing I look for as well. Those sorts of quirky books with diagrams, interesting font. Now, I want to show you a couple more. Now, this is just a little book that I got here in Brisbane for a couple of dollars, and it's actually only tiny, so my advice would be don't overpay for things like this because sometimes people are trying to charge an arm and a leg and it is only a few pages but each page has a lovely watercolour image on it so it's um, ink and watercolour ink and um, sorry watercolour and ink as in you know black pen ink and they've been reproduced into this little tiny book and it's just lovely really nice different images in that one so sort of if there's something little you know hidden between the crevices of lots of different books I paid a dollar for it there you go and that was a good price I thought then just have a look at it because it might be really interesting and here is another thing that I look for which is pattern books so this one here is pattern books to make little dolls and it's again got lovely diagrams in it look at these beautiful diagrams so it's a bit like a dress pattern and also what I love is finding these little things like this. So I was looking through this and I've got, actually bought um, a whole pack of these. Obviously it was from somebody um, who must have done a clean out or something. We won't think about that, but I am preserving it for them. I would think that it's probably from a deceased estate and they've just packed up or somebody who's gotten to an age where they can't do it anymore perhaps or they're, they're downsizing their house. And so I probably bought about 20 of these little books in one lot. They weren't expensive, but then the bonus is all these lovely little things where they've taken the pattern and they've made their own little template because with these you have to increase the size of it to make the doll or whatever it is they're making. And it's got all of this lovely handwriting on it. So it's not just tissue paper and paper. It's got some character and some history. So I hope the person who did all this would be appreciating that I'm reusing their, you know, not just the book, but their actual work that they've done in the book. And these are really cute, whether it's dolls or I think there was quite a few bear ones as well, how to make teddy bears. So I look for those as well. And the, oh, I wanted to do these ones first. Let me do these ones first. Now, these ones are just ledger books and index books, but I always look for these because they are really nice. This one's got a lovely patina. So that was, doesn't have a price on it, but I know it wasn't much. This was $3, which is a hardcover accounting book. And I like these pages here because they're pretty pale pale blue in color with blue lines and I like the numbers so each page has got different numbers on it and that attracts me because of the font you know the font fetish that I have and that's a really good one so I got that for three dollars this one here was two dollars and it is just plain writing but the other thing you can pick up which I'll just reach over and grab not organized is a ledger book like this so this ledger book I think was a couple of dollars I'm not sure where the cover is it again is a fool's cap size so it's plenty big enough it's blank and it's got really cool pink and sort of almost a pale greeny blue lines on it so you can pick up things like that in op shops really really cheap and often you know what I'll do is they'll have a price on them and then I'll bundle them up you know I might grab you know eight or ten of them and say how much for all of these and they always give you a discount well I find that they do and if they don't then just walk away because there's plenty of other op shops around and my final one is this Pittman's commercial type writing book which I probably have shown you before but I absolutely love this book it just brings back so many memories of a 16 year old me sitting down learning to type and I actually own four of these now and I bought them all here in Brisbane. So they they seem to be readily available. I don't know, maybe I'm just lucky. But they're just from um, a, um, an op shop, an, an old you know place that sells secondhand stuff. And it's just beautiful. And what I love about this is not only the fact that every time I open it, I see myself as a 16 year old, is the beautiful font in it. 
So this is a book to learn to type, obviously, and it has exercises and then it says, you know, these are the exercises and then on the reverse, on the top side, it's actually a long book that opens up and sat on your desk. So here, hence the cord. Let me get that in the shop for you. Here's the cord and you flip the cover back and then you put the little pin through this so it's stood up like an A-frame on your desk. So the back side of the book is all of these gorgeous letters and things. So they're handwritten. A lot of them are handwritten in lots of different things with corrections and things in them. So it taught you how to type because you had to then decipher this and type it into a letter that looked good. So hence today, looking at it, it's just gorgeous for making journals. And the handwriting is different. They've obviously got lots of different people to handwrite these things out. Maybe they were taken from originals, I don't know. But they're just beautiful. And this one, I just noticed, which I hadn't really noticed before, is that this one says that, that said Queensland. Oh yes, okay, so I thought it was the Queensland book. I was going to say, I grew up in New South Wales and that's where I learnt to type. But um, So this book is a rough draft letter Long Lowell, Edward Street, Brisbane, from Gray and Elliot, Longreach. Type and complete, ready for signature. So they are actually original letters. Never really looked at that before. And um, they make fabulous entries into your junk journal because it just brings that nostalgia and that gorgeous vintageness into it. So there you go. That would be some of the books that I use in my junk journals. And... I hope that you enjoyed looking through those with me and if you have any other questions about what books to buy then you can leave me a comment below and I will do my best to answer. Thanks for watching. This is Deborah. I will catch you next time. Cheers.